Hey guys, DSP Fishing Gilder video. In this video, I'm going to try to make some venison meatballs. Uh, as you can see, I have my venison right here. I shot this in rifle season. I'm going to show a little clip right now. I didn't get a chance to show it before. On that day, it was snowing, so I decided to sit in a bin stand. It snowed through the majority of the day, light sprinkle. I uh, didn't see any deer the entire day till just about an hour before the end of shooting light. Had my tact cam with me on my rifle. Uh, I saw those deer about 250 yards. I grunted at him with a buck tending grunt followed by fawn distress. They seemed to come a little bit closer but not close enough that I could get a shot that I was comfortable with. So I let them pass, they went into the woods. And then just about the end of light I saw those deer come back. So I put a fawn distress and they started coming my way. And I picked out the largest one in the group and put my, set my crosshairs on it at about 150 yards and pulled the trigger. We got the deer process, it's right here. Um, we're gonna start cutting it up, then we're gonna stick it into our grinder, and then we're gonna start making our meatballs. So stay tuned, I hope it's gonna be a good video. first thing that I did when preparing the meat was I took off any of the extra silver skin that was on the, the meat and removed that. Then I cut the meat into about a fourth of an inch chunks and threw them into the grinder. And I put it, my meat into the grinder until I had an adequate amount coming out for the amount that I had put in. Then I just repeated this process for all the chunks of meat and grinded all of it down. Then after I ground up all the meat, I cleaned everything up, uh, making sure there was no raw meat contaminating anything else. Then once you're cleaned up, you are ready to start actually making the meatballs. First thing I put in were egg beaters. You can use real eggs. I put about the amount of two eggs. Then some breadcrumbs, uh, about a cup's worth. That's all we had left in the bin. Use Worcestershire sauce, just a few drops. That stuff's pretty strong. Then onion powder. Italian seasoning, Stubbs barbecue seasoning, Cajun spice, peppercorn seasoning, crushed red pepper, just a tiny tiny bit of the red pepper because that's also very strong. Then some garlic powder, some seasoned salt, and then of course salt and pepper. And once I was done with that I mashed it all up and formed it into a consistency that kind of looked like play-doh and formed it into a little ball. Then after that's finished, I used a little scoop to make them the meatballs more uniform and spread them out about one batch that I could put into the skillet. Once I formed my meatballs, I put just enough olive oil to barely cover the pan. Then I put on my meatballs and made sure that they were brown on all sides. Once the meatballs were brown on all sides, put them in the crock pot on low for about an hour. And here's a look at the ingredients that I used. Uh, just uh, for time's sake, um, the main ingredients being the barbecue sauces and the chili sauce and then the seasonings to taste. Then I put it on high for another two hours and then low for the last hour. Then I opened up a can of pineapples, took some toothpicks, and then we had our finished product. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, had a great time making it. 
But of course it won't be a full cooking video without trying it first. So here's our deer with our little pineapple at the end. Tastes really good. Uh, great for appetizer for parties, that sort of thing. Um, or like we're doing here, we're just cooking dinner. So until next time, slide and obey my friends. I'll see you on the flip side.